I don't want to be a nag. I am not a nag. You make me a nag. Today I want to talk a little bit about how everybody's responsibility is a mom's responsibility. I've had this conversation with my family over and over again. I've tried to give them each planners, um, to-do list strategies, <laughs> uh, sit down with them, showing them how to break down their days, how I break down my days. And in the end, everything seems to fall on my shoulders no matter what. And of course, when this happens, it is just overwhelming. Uh, this is, I always tell them, this is why I have anxiety. This is why mommy's a loose cannon because your test schedule, your homework, your responsibilities are also my responsibility. So everything that I have to do on my list, the 101 things that I have to do every single day, I also have to carry the things that each of you have to do and put them on my plate as well. And you know, everyone says, that's not true. That's ridiculous. We handle our own things. But let me give you a few examples. I make dinner almost every single night and everybody has a task. So my one of my sons, all he has to do is bring the napkins to the table. This is a very simple thing. Now, of course, I could bring the napkins to the table as I bring the dishes and the utensils and the food that I just cooked and everything else that I bring to the table. I could bring the napkins as well, but I like to give my son something to do. Every day, I sit down and we begin to eat and there are no napkins. And every single day I have to turn to my son and say, can you please bring the napkins to the table? And then he gets up and gets the napkins. Add that small idea times 1000 and that's my day. Did you do your homework today? No. Do you have any tests this week? No. Let's check. Then we go and check. Oh, there is a test this week. Okay. Well, if I don't do that, then nobody checks. Light bulbs. Let's talk about my husband. We can pass a light bulb that hasn't been changed for months. And that is something that always makes me crazy because I'm like, am I the only person that doesn't see a light bulb? Am I special? I always think to myself, am I special? Why is it that I can see this and nobody else can see something like this? Maybe in the, I don't know. I don't know why it falls on women to have to run the roost. Like, like even grocery shopping, for example, here's another perfect example. So let's say I send my husband out to get a couple of items. I always think about this too. Wouldn't it be great to just get handed a list? Like here, can you go get me these eight items? You don't have to think about checking to see what's not in the house. You don't have to think about what meals have to be made. You don't have to fight with your children to get them fed and have to eat those meals. You just have to go and get the things that are on a piece of paper. You just have to pick out these eight items. But then when he's out, I receive text after text, phone calls. I am, I become the support system, like customer support. Did you mean this type of flour or this type of flour? They don't have whole corn. They only have this corn. And I understand he wants to get it specifically right. I mean, I understand this, but again, it's just easier if I do it, but I don't want to do everything. And I just think to myself, can you imagine what is that like? What would that be like? to just not know what to do in a grocery store and have to call somebody 17 times to get through eight items. I don't know what that would feel like, but that's what my life is. It's, it's, it's customer support and I'm like the real life Siri for everybody. I, I've said this so many times to my, my family, I don't want to be a nag. I'm not a nag. I don't, you make, you make me into a nag. <laughs> before, before this round of my life, I was so fun. You don't know how I was. I was fun. And you make me not fun. I did this to myself. I enabled everyone to lean on me so hard because I'm type A, because I'm hyper organized, because I took control very early on. And now everybody just like something happens and they're like, 
What are we doing? What should we do? I don't know. Where are my shoes? Where are my shoes, mom? And and they always say, if I can't find it, it's lost. Where 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 is my sweatshirt, mom? Am I a magician? This is the other thing I say. Am I magic? Why am I the only person that can find something? Why is mom the only person that can find something in the house? I can't find uh, the butter, mom. Really? Because I'm in the other room and I already know it's top left shelf to the right next to the yogurt. I can actually see where the butter is. You're standing in front of the refrigerator with the doors open and you can't see the butter. How? How? I don't understand. Find the butter, find my sweater. I don't, don't need to keep track of when my tests are. Uh, please let me know when to change the light bulbs because I can't tell to do that even though they're out right on top of my head. Um, where's the corn in Target even though I'm standing in the can aisle? Can you please help me figure that out? Uh, it's just all of that on me on top of mass hysteria happening in the world, utter chaos, depression, anxiety, turmoil in my work space, um, barely hanging on with a string. And now I can't, you, I can't find my cleats. Where are my cleats? Didn't you have a game yesterday? Yes, but where are they? Okay, let's do this. I'll find them. It's just a lot. But at, at, at early to mid 40s, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't have the, uh, the oomph anymore to run around like a chicken without my head juggling these glass balls, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. And that's where I am in my current state. So yes, weight of the world, as far as my, my inner world, still on my shoulders, and there's no uh, escaping it, even though I've had countless, countless discussions. And I do, I have sit downs with my family saying, hi, I'm breaking in half and I need people to each carry their portion of their lives. Can anybody help me? Raise your hand if you're in. And they all look at me like I have three heads because they're like, this is your job. What are you talking about? And I recognize it's my job, by the way. I recognize being a mom is being the ruler of the, the house and having the primary responsibility. I understand that that does come with the territory. I'm not saying it doesn't, but when you see your spouse and your mother and your partner sort of um, crumbling right before your eyes, you know, like step up a little bit and go, hmm, She's melting. I feel like we need to do a little more over here. She's um, losing herself. And yeah, maybe I should clean my room and do the dishes and walk the dog before her head explodes.